Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Scorpio is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free, it does not cost you anything. If there's anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Scorpio, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And the Prince of Wands, this is someone that is committed. This is someone that has a vision, has a creative idea, and will not budge, right? This is, I think, you with a, a tremendous amount of confidence and certainty about what you're doing, what you're creating on a very fundamental level in your spiritual vital body, right? There is this kind of um, almost a, a visceral certainty. Yeah, we're very fixed in that fire energy. Let's put this into some context. Let's see what we're doing with this kind of, this uh, confidence, this um, surety, right? Look at that, more fire. Um, you are creating, right? You are manifesting this, this fire. We got a five of cups. More fire. More fire. The blending of the fire now. See, now we've got a little bit of tempering. It kind of feels as if this is something that requires a lot of heat, a lot of ambition, really, really hot, hot temperatures, right? And then a little bit of cooling off, a little bit of tempering. So you're pushing very, very hard for something that you really, truly believe in. Even when I think there are some, some obstacles, okay, you're not giving up. You're staying fixed in your commitment. This was the decision that you made. This is the vision that you have. And nothing is going to get you to compromise on this. Okay, could be that you have this creative idea, but there are other people in your life that are trying to get you to, to just bend a little bit. You don't want to bend. You do not want to bend. Ten of Wands. Now, more fire energy. Let's see, we also have the water. We have the perfect blending of fire and water now. We've got all this fire, more fire over here, and then we've got some water, 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 and we realize that sometimes we've got we've to switch gears a little bit. Um, I think that this is something for which Spirit is saying, don't compromise, don't bend on this, right? Because the, um, this is like a once in a lifetime thing. And once you reach a certain point, then it will be okay for you to yield. Then we can relax a little bit. But right now it feels like the fire just needs to stay hot. You need to keep this fire going. Don't let it be extinguished. Don't let your own feelings of doubt or fear or confusion um, extinguish this fire. Don't lower the temperature here at all. You've got to keep going until you reach the end of whatever this particular path is. And you'll know when it's time to switch gears. Okay? Right now is the time for you to stand firm. Do not compromise. Do not bend. Okay? It feels like a creative thing. Uh, but this really could be anything. I feel like you have this decision that you've made that does affect other people. So there's some sort of a collaboration. I don't know if you're the, if you're the leader of a band or something, or um, you're the one in charge of the department, and you're the head of the family, whatever it is. You've made a decision. And I feel like you're sticking to it no matter what, right? And there is a certain point, because we've got that 10... We've got that ten of wands. So once this thing, once this thing reaches a particular point or reaches a conclusion, then it's kind of like okay, then you can relax. It's kind of like you've you've got a 
You've got to hold on until it reaches that point that um, there's no going back from. You know what I mean? That we're holding, we're holding on to this belief um, until the clock runs out, and then it's like then the the clock kind of you know runs out, and then we can let go. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of it, it feels like that. I think we should look at the mystery card, or select the mystery card, I should say. And this is a random card from the Smith Weight Tarot. We're just going to set it down over here. We're going to put Alien Simon Mark Ripley right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end. You know, It will tie everything together. It will give us the confirmation at the end of this reading. If at any point during the program you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. Okay, Let's do it together as a group exercise. So let's look around the room again. The only major arcana card we have is the art card, the temperance card. This is us realizing that, yeah, eventually the fire has to give way to water. That you can't just heat something up, you can't just put, you can't just put this iron in the fire forever um, and expect to get the results that you want. Okay? We, you're forging something here. And to do that, we have to heat it up really, really hot. But then it's got to be taken out and cooled down at some point, too. And that's how you make something that's strong, something that's lasting. Right now is that period of pushing, of intense fire, intense heat and pressure, right? Eventually that will break. Eventually that will give way to the uh, yielding. To the enjoyment, though, too. If you look at that Two of Cups at the end here. This is a labor of love. But right now is not the time for you to indulge and enjoy it. Right now is the time for you to push. This is the time for you to crank that heat up and stand up. Don't, don't buckle, right? Don't budge. Don't bend. It's almost, uh, it almost feels like a test to see if you can really hold out until the end. It's kind of like um, you've set yourself a, um, a, a certain challenge, you know, uh, like uh, maybe yoga, meditation or something, right? You hold that position for 30 minutes. Can you do it? You know, it sounds like a Survivor episode or something. Um, stand on one foot and hold your arms out to the side for five minutes, you know, and and this is it. This is that kind of test, and you've got to do it. And um, you're feeling a little bit wobbly. You're feeling, this is that card where it's like um, your muscles are starting to feel like jello, you know, where you just can't lift the weight anymore. Um, but you're going to anyway. You know, you want to quit. You feel like quitting, but you're not going to. And that part of you that just kind of, I just, can I just stop doing, can I just enjoy what I, what I have now? It's kind of like we're, we're halfway through cooking the meal. And you're just saying, I'm tired of cooking. I'm just going to eat what I have. It's half done, but I'm just going to eat it anyway because I'm hungry. Spirit's telling you, don't do that. Right? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Do not bend. Do not buckle. Do not yield. Do not compromise right now. Okay, this is something that if you hold out till the end, it's going to be well worth it. It feels like maybe it'd be good to just stop now and nourish yourself, right? Enjoy the thing now, consume the thing now, but it's not ready yet. Okay, maybe you're working on something, uh, an art project or something or some kind of... Um, big creative thing. Maybe this has something to do with work or with school or, you know, I don't know. But it feels like, um, it feels like the end f is so far away. Yeah. It feels like I just, I can't stand here holding this thing anymore. I just want to set it down. Don't do it. Not yet. Okay. It's not time. Um, I don't know who these people are that are that are involved in this with you, but I feel as if um, I feel as if it's kind of like three against one. Because I'll tell you, this 
Prince of Cups is your power card. This is your superpower. And what this is, this is your intensity. This is your ability to really be authentic and be true to yourself. This is something that is long-term success and love and happiness, long-term goals for you. Requiring this immediate strength and all of this fire energy, all of this heat and pressure right now to create something that is going to be fantastic in the future. This is that once in a lifetime opportunity, right? And what's next is really something. But you've got to go through this. You've got to be able to hold out. You've got to be able to hold your ground. It almost feels like, um, it almost feels like it's, it's really, really difficult for you to keep the other people in line with something. I don't know if you're, it feels like you're part of a band or something, or, or maybe a department at work. But it feels like you're the one that kind of has the, uh, the unique perspective here. Let's just say that. Because you're this Prince of Cups, and these are all fire energies. Okay? And it feels like they're ganging up on you. It feels like, well, if it's just one of these, then you can hold out. But now they're just, there's more and more. It's just getting stronger and stronger. It's getting, it's getting more and more difficult for you to hold your ground because it feels like there's a lot of opposition here. Okay? And it could be differences in the creative vision. It could be everybody has kind of a different, a different will, right? Um, really not everybody. I think it's three against one honestly. But um, you're not being persuaded. And if, so there's a real strength here. And this is a situation that's, that's going to change your life. It's something really big that you're working on. And you know, no matter what anybody says to you, no matter what you kind of tell yourself, no matter how you feel, you cannot quit. You cannot give up until you reach that point. I don't know what that point is. You'll, you'll know when you get there. That point is the end of the line for the fire energy. It's the Ten of Wands. Right? It's kind of like if you, if you hold this heat and pressure for just a little bit longer, you will have made that diamond. Okay? But if you give up now, you're only going to have dust. Okay? And so it really is, it's that kind of tension that we're holding right now. And we've got to keep, we've got to keep squeezing. Um, the only major arcana card is, is knowing that transition when it's time to then let go of the pressure and, and just let the thing kind of um, flow on its own. It's kind of like we're winding something up, you know, and you have to keep winding it and winding it and winding it to store up all that energy, to build up all that pressure, all that heat. And then eventually, we're going to be able to let it go, right? But right now, it's like we're saying, no, it's not done. It's like you're whisking something, maybe. Um, it's not ready yet. Yeah, it's not ready yet. Uh, the art or temperance card. This is, a, this is a transformation for you. And this is, I think, something very serious that you, you're working on. And... Um, I can't really get a feel for what it is. I'm just, I'm getting all of this tension and all of this pressure. And I'm getting like kind of, it's, it's almost, um, it's almost like there's a timer that's going to go off. I'm almost waiting to hear the bell. And when you can finally, whew, like, okay, gosh, I'm done. I thought it would never end, you know. But I feel like right now you're in that tense state. And we're waiting for the bell. We're waiting for the timer. We're waiting for that moment that just says, Okay, you can let go now. And once we let go, I feel like this is something that really is taking off. This, this is a lot of love. This is a lot of connection that you're creating. If you're working on an invention, or you're... I don't know what it is. I honestly can't get, get, a, get a feel for what the details are here. Except to say that there's all this tension in it. You know, it feels literally like tension, like you're winding up a spring or something. Yeah. And everybody says, no, 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 that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. And you're saying, no, it's not. And you're going to keep going. And maybe other people, maybe some of this seven of wands that we see up here is, 
uh, other people in this situation kind of telling you to stop, telling you that it's been enough, that you've, you've proved it, you've done it, it's, and you're saying, no, I'm going a little bit further. A few more moments, a few more moments, and then it will be time for the release. You're waiting till that energy is, is in the just optimal, right? If you quit now, then it's going to be a little bit short. If you go too long, maybe you're going to exceed the capacity of whatever this thing is. I say we just look at this mystery card. I don't know what we need here. Maybe more fire, maybe more water, right? It's literally all we have here. And we've got, a, of course, a little bit of earth um, to show that transition. It's like when finally we're, we're going to hit the button and the train's going to go on the other track now. There's a lot of suspense, a lot of buildup going on in your life right now. If you have a prediction for this mystery card, put it down in the comments. An Eight of Swords. Maybe this is a, maybe this is a situation where we don't really know when to stop. Maybe we're not so sure at the moment that we, and well, you know what this does remind me of? You know those old cartoons where somebody's tied up on the train tracks? That's kind of what this looks like. And, um, we're kind of waiting till that last moment and saying, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, now put the train on the other track or whatever and, and rescue, uh, rescue whatever this is, our idea, our soul, you know. Um, but there's a lot of buildup, a lot of tension. It's very suspenseful. And I wonder if there's some sort of doubt in the back of your mind. This is the only air energy we have, and this is a lot of analysis. There's a lot of overthinking, and maybe the message here is don't think about it. Don't overthink it. See, there's no air here at all. It's just fire, fire, fire. You'll know when it's enough. You'll know when to hit the switch. If we start thinking too much about it, or we start thinking too much about what's at stake, our friend that's tied up on the train tracks, you know. If we start thinking too much about what's at stake, well, we're going to make a mistake, right? So the message here, don't think about it. Just keep building up this pressure, building up this intensity. And you'll know when it's time to hit the button. You'll know when it's time to hit the switch and to change the tracks, to change the energy, to... Take the thing out and put it in the bucket of water. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around for that, there's a link in the corner. There's one down below. All right. New readings for Scorpio every Wednesday and Saturday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. I am here every day. You can come see me again tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because it is totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Leave a comment for me. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. Let me know what this is. Let me know why do I feel this, just this tension. It's almost just like there's, there's a souffle in the oven. And we're just thinking, no, a little bit more heat, a little bit more time. It's almost done. It's almost done. You go too far, the thing's going to burn. You go too, pull it out too early, and it's just going to fall apart, right? Let me know what that is right now. I don't know. Um, it could be all sorts of things, so I'm very curious anyway. Uh, I want you to know, Scorpio, that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together. <laughs>